Hey guys, today I'm going to head over to the Tabasco Sauce Factory on Avery Island and then I'm going to knock out the end of the day by touring the Nottaway Plantation, the largest still standing plantation home in all of the South. Come along with me, please. Let's go. Oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. Good morning, guys. I just stayed here at the uh, Walmart last night. I'm getting ready to head off to Avery Island. I'm going to go and check out the Tabasco factory. Right here was the view I had from last night. <laughs> Real great view, right? But hey, you know, I didn't have to pay $70 for a hotel. Talk to you a little bit later, guys. Welcome to Avery Island. More than 2,000 acres sitting atop a deposit of solid rock salt thought to be deeper than Mount Everest is high. This is a place steeped in the rich 180 year history of the Marsh, Avery, and McElhenney families and most popularly known as the birthplace of Tabasco brand pepper sauce. Legend has it that those first hot peppers Mr. McElhenney used to fire up Tabasco sauce originated in Mexico or Central America. In 1888, the pepper was officially classified as the Tabasco pepper. Each year during the pepper harvest since that time, a member of the McElhenney family personally selects the best plant in the field. The pepper seeds from those select plants are treated and dried and stored for use the following year. The seeds are removed from storage near the first of the year and planted in a greenhouse. They will grow here until early spring when the last chance of frost has passed. At that point, only the prime seedlings are selected to be transplanted into the freshly cultivated fields. The plants that are grown on Avery Island make up only a portion of all the peppers used in Tabasco sauce. Avery Island seeds are sent to growers in Central and South America. Spreading out the agricultural operation minimizes the risk of loss from plant disease and insect infestation. As the new plants slowly develop, each branch is loaded with beautiful peppers, which change in color from green to yellow to orange, and finally to the classic bright red. It is this beautiful crimson color that is the sign of a perfectly ripened pepper. A member of the McElhenney family personally checks for color and juiciness 
and then approves the crop for harvest. Only an expert hand and experienced eye can distinguish between a ripe pepper and a perfectly ripe pepper. On Avery Island, the peppers are carefully picked by hand as soon as they ripen to that perfect shade of bright red. When in doubt, pickers can gauge the color by comparing it to a small wooden dowel called Le Petit Baton Rouge, or the Little Red Stick, painted the exact color of a ripe pepper. Pickers gather in the afternoons to have their day's harvest weighed by a member of the McElhenney family. Then, in keeping with McElhenney tradition, the peppers must be processed the same day they are picked. The peppers are immediately loaded onto trucks and taken to the grinding station on Avery Island. Here, the peppers are ground, mixed with a small amount of salt from the island's own salt mine, and placed in white oak barrels like those used to age fine whiskey. Each barrel is capped with a wooden cover into which several holes have been drilled. A thick layer of salt from the Avery Island mine is placed on the cover. The barrels are marked, logged, and sent to the Avery Island Mash Warehouse. This pepper mash is aged for up to three long years to bring out the distinctive and consistent flavor that has made Tabasco the leading pepper sauce since 1868. There is not a lot of salt in the Tabasco pepper sauce recipe, but salt from the Avery Island salt mine plays an important role in the aging of the Tabasco pepper mash. During early aging, fermentation is active. The gases and juices escape through the holes. The salt cap prevents any outside air or impurities from seeping into the mash. When the fully aged pepper mash is approved by a member of the McElhenney family, it is then drained and blended with all natural high grain vinegar, pumped into wooden tanks and intermittently stirred for up to 28 days. Providing all conditions are met, the resulting sauce, worthy of the trademark Tabasco, is bottled and so labeled for distribution throughout America and around the world. Now you know how we make our famous Tabasco brand pepper sauce, but we want you to have the full experience of Avery Island. This is the Tabasco Country Store, where you can see the entire Tabasco family of flavors. Original Tabasco red pepper sauce, Tabasco green pepper sauce, Tabasco garlic pepper sauce, Tabasco habanero pepper sauce, and our newest flavor, Tabasco chipotle pepper sauce, are now all a part of the Tabasco sauce family. But Tabasco is a bold and flavorful trend with more than just people's appetites. Take a look around. People are wearing Tabasco, playing with Tabasco, even decorating with Tabasco. Log on to Tabasco's Pepperfest website at www.tabasco.com to find out more. Avery Island is also home to the famed Jungle Gardens with its bird city. Edward Avery McElhenney, second son of Edmund McElhenney, founded Bird City to save the threatened snowy egret from extinction in 1892. The wildlife population has expanded since that time with thousands of snowy white egrets and other migratory water birds returning to Bird City each spring. Tabasco brand pepper sauce is known the world over. Tabasco has been a part of several Himalayan expeditions. Tabasco flies aboard the space shuttles, and it has also been used on Skylab and the new International Space Station. It spiced up soldier sea rations in Vietnam, was included in their MRE rations in the Gulf War, and has been a mainstay on the table of several U.S. presidents. It all started here on Avery Island with Mr. Edmund McElhenney more than 130 years ago. Many families who reside on Avery Island have contributed to the Tabasco tradition over time. Eula Mae Dore, who has lived and cooked on the island for over 50 years, is considered a treasure of Avery Island. Eula May, I bet you have cooked up some spicy cuisine in this kitchen. Well, you're right, Susan, I sure did. And today I made chicken sausage jambalaya. I put a good portion of Tabasco in it. You know, sometimes I frighten people with Tabasco, but after they taste this jambalaya, I make believers out of them.
Tabasco brand pepper sauce is a truly universal flavor enhancer. So go ahead, follow Yula May's advice and use one of our family of flavors to spice up your next meal. Before you know it, that little bottle with a McElhenney diamond label will find a permanent home between the salt and pepper on your table. Still traveling right on time. Hear those roosters start their crowing, and the creeks will always flow to the slow pace of the western line. When that morning dew has settled, it's to the open road. One thing always knocking at my door Every river floating down My heart will pass through every town At a faster pace than ever before Hey guys, so the uh, tour was kind of cool. I was kind of hoping to have spent more time around walking actually in the factory and seeing a little more. That would have been really cool. But, uh, you know, being on the other side of the glass made it a little less intimate. But all in all, it's definitely a stop that I'm glad I made. Run your heart up empty So it's long last week I'm out to be the other half of mine I don't know if anybody can tell me, but I've been really wondering what the uh, crop is here that's raised in mounds like potatoes, but only looks more like onions or some kind of grass. If you guys know what that is, please put a comment down below. Uh, it's, I've seen it all over Avery Island. Look at here, guys. I'm getting a free car wash. I did need to wash the van, man. So this is turning out to be all right.
Hey guys, so I'm running through the area right now that the History Channel has a show called Swamp People on. So everywhere around me is swamps and marsh. I mean, even what looks like forest, if you look through the trees here in a second. Even, even through all the trees and everything, on both sides, it's all swamp or marsh. I mean, if you see over here, and over here, everything is wetlands. Here we are, the Nottaway Mansion. It's the Nottaway Plantation here. It's the single largest still existing plantation house in America, in the southern states. It's over 53,000 square feet. They refer to it a lot of the times as the White Castle, because it's an American castle, so to speak. So I'm going to be touring this here in a few minutes. Looking forward to it, guys. I hope you enjoy what I am able to snap pictures of and whatnot. And uh, I'll talk to you a little bit later.